circum center. What is it? All the perpendicular bisects, bisectors. Okay, you're looking for a perpendicular bisector that intersects at the same point. So if you have a triangle, here's the triangle. You have to find a perpendicular bisector from each side of the triangle. So what's a perpendicular bisector? It's a line that bisects, which means it's, what is this point referred to as if it's bisecting? So you need to find the midpoint of that, of AC, and you need to find the midpoint of AB, then you need to figure out the equation of a line that is perpendicular. So we did this yesterday. So it bisects AB, but it runs perpendicular. So what would you have to figure out to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector? So you would need to know the slope. Let's just look at AB for a second. You would need to know the slope of AB, and then you are trying to figure out a line that's perpendicular to that, so you're going to figure out a perpendicular slope, right, a negative reciprocal, and you're trying to find the equation of this line. Once you know the slope and you know the midpoint, because that's a point on the line, you can find the equation of the line, correct? You do that for one line in the triangle, and then you do the same thing for the other line. So we would do the same thing here. Once you know the midpoint, you find the slope of AC, you figure out what's perpendicular to it, and then you're going to find the equation of this line. And then to find a circumcenter, you're trying to figure out the point of intersection of those two right bisectors. Okay, so circumcenter basically is the point of intersection of a perpendicular bisector of two, I should say, of two, well, it's really all three. We'll say two or more, okay? Because you, you can just find two of them. So if you're given a triangle, again, you're trying to find the circumcenter. So I would even just draw a picture. Well, what does that mean? What am I finding? We're finding the point of intersection of two right bisectors. So I'm going to figure out where this bisects, and then I'm going to draw a perpendicular line. And then I would figure out where this bisects, and then it's got to be perpendicular. Shoot, I can't draw properly. So let's say this line is perpendicular. That point here would give you the circumcenter. So the first thing we'll do, let's find this midpoint. Okay. So find the midpoint of FD. We add the two x-coordinates and divide by 2 and then add the two y-coordinates and divide by 2. Okay, so did everyone, would everyone agree that the midpoint of this is 3, 0? That gives you a point of this perpendicular bisector. That's a point on that line. You're trying to find an equation of a line because a circumcenter is the point of intersection of two lines. Okay, so we're, we're just finding the midpoint. So once you know the midpoint, let's call this point A. Okay, this is A. We need to figure out what is the equation of that line if it's perpendicular to DF. So what do I have to find now? So I need to figure out what? I need to figure out what? The slope. Let's make this red, actually. The slope of FD because I know that the blue line, the slope of the blue line has to be a negative reciprocal of FD, correct? In order for it to be perpendicular, it has to have a negative reciprocal. So we need to know what is the slope of FD? Y2 minus Y1, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So negative one take away one. So let's put in those terms, equals negative one over three. So therefore, the slope of the perpendicular bisector has to be what? If the slope of the red line is negative 1 over 3, what does the slope of the perpendicular bisector have to be? Good. Positive 3 over 1 or just 3, right? We're good so far? This is a point on the line. This is the slope of the line. I need an equation of a line. 
How do you find the equation of a line? Find B. Find B. We have the slope. We have the slope, we can plug that in. We have the x, we can plug that in. We have the y, we can plug that in. Find B. Okay, so we found the equation of the blue line is y equals 3x minus 9. Now we're going to do the exact same steps. We're going to find the equation of the green line so that we can figure out where they intersect, their point of intersection. So we're going to do the same thing for the green line. What's the first thing you need to figure out? The midpoint. You need to know a point on that line. This line, y equals, what was it? Negative 0.6x plus 4.4. Okay, so we know the equation of the blue line, you know the equation of the green line, you're trying to figure out where do these two points intersect, so let's find the point of intersection using substitution, and that's it. Okay, so we know the slope and we know the coordinate, we're going to solve for b. So 0 equals, okay, so 0 equals 9 plus b, so b equals negative 9, good. So therefore, the equation of the blue line, which is a perpendicular bisector, right? So you're trying to find two perp perpendicular bisectors. The first one is y equals, what was the slope? What's the equation? y equals 3x minus 9. You're done half of the question now. So we're trying to figure out the midpoint of EF, right? So we know where it bisects. So 0 plus 3 over 2 and 1 plus 6 over 2, 3 over 2, 7 over 2. You can leave it as, you can write it as a decimal. What is it? Oops. And we'll call this point B, just because I called the other one A. That's the midpoint. That's where it bisects. But we need to know the equation of a perpendicular line that bisects there. So what's the next step? If it's perpendicular, you need to know the slope, right? The slope of what? EF. Y2 minus Y1, which is six take away one, and then over what? Three minus zero. Five over three. So if the slope, shh, if the slope of EF is 5 over 3, what does the slope of this line have to be then if it's perpendicular? Negative, Negative 3 over 5, good. So we know the slope. We know a coordinate. Can you find the equation of the green line? Plug in M, plug in X, plug in Y. You can put this as a decimal, negative 0.6. That represents the equation. Okay, so we know the slope. We know the uh, coordinate. Plug it in and find B. So Y is 3.5 equals M is negative 0 0.6 times, oh man, times 1.5 plus B. 3.5 equals negative 0 0.9 plus B. 3.5 plus 0 0.9 equals B. So B equals 4.4. So therefore, the equation of the second line, the perpendicular bisector, right? You're trying to find two perpendicular bisectors. The second one would be y equals negative 0.6x plus 4.4. Okay. Okay, so those are the two equations. Can we use substitution? I know that y is equal to this, so let's plug that in here. 3x minus 9 equals negative 0.6x plus 4.4. Rearrange the equation to combine your like terms and isolate x. So I'll keep the x's on this side. Negative 0.6 becomes... The 4.4 remains as a positive, and the negative 9 becomes... Okay, and then we divide both sides by 3.6. What is x equal to? And so let's round it off to approximately 3.7. If you know the x value of the point of intersection, how would you find y, right? Because the point of intersection is x and y. We now know that x is equal to 3.7. What do I do to figure out y? Plug it into what? Okay, let's do 
this equation because there's no decimals. Y equals 3 times 3.7, take away 9. What does Y equal? 2.1. So, therefore, the point of intersection, which is the circumcenter, it's a, is equal to 3.7, 2.1.